Hey everyone, it's a Saturday morning. It's not even daylight out yet. Uh, who else wakes up early on the weekends to have a little quiet time with their fox body? Uh, trying to figure out what my day's plans are going to be. So what are the top five items I'm going to keep in my fox uh, for when I'm out and about driving, going to a cruise, going to a show, maybe some of you daily them to work or at least in the summertime. What are those things you got to make sure that you leave with and just in case something happens? Let's, well, let's talk about my top five. All right. And number five, it gets a little harder to figure out what's in the number five spot. I went with an extra belt and number four, an extra TFI. Now, in my case, I have an old one that was known to be working just fine when I took it off. And I have a brand new one in the same box. It's not a motorcraft, but uh, it's a new one. And uh, because you just never can tell with what you buy these days, I just decided to put another older one in there as well. I have a motorcraft on the car now, but I've got those in there. And then you also got to make sure you have a way to uh, replace them. So they make little tools here that uh, has an extension on it that'll get down into the bolt on your distributor to turn it. Got a little tool here that will fit in to get the screws out of the TFI. Um, in my case, I don't need that anymore because I put a uh, screwdriver tip, the Phillips tip screws, in there now uh, so I don't have to worry about this tool and uh, makes it a lot easier quicker to get them out of there but you still need one of these or at least a socket wrench and an extension swivel make it easier on you number three a flashlight either handheld something that use magnetic or in this case I got one that goes around your head and uh, keeps your hands free never know when you got to be working in the dark and make sure you got some batteries that are good too. Number one, fire extinguisher. Uh, you know, automotive fire extinguishers are not just something for old, older cars, but uh, just vehicles in general. Good idea to have one. A lot of people might put them in the trunk, in the back seat. I just recently got a bracket that attaches to the front seat brackets. And uh, you can kind of see the parts of the bracket back there. It's it's uh, firm. It uh, isn't going anywhere. And then uh, I bought this other little strap. You just uh, flick it off and you've got your fire extinguisher. It's right uh, within your hand's reach. So even if you're in the driver's seat, you don't have to fiddle around in the back seat looking for it. You don't have to go to the hatch or the trunk um, looking for it. It's uh, not under the seat or rolling around. You know exactly where it is. Doesn't interfere with a passenger if uh, you got somebody over there. Um, it's tucked up pretty good to the bottom of the seat there. Now, most of the things I've mentioned in this video could still fit in your glove box. Um, you could put your flashlight in there, a TFI in there. You even these days, the battery jump starters are getting small enough. One of those would fit in there just fine. Um, you'd have maybe a little more difficulty getting a, a, a accessory belt in there, but you can fit that under your seat. So what I've done, uh, kind of went overboard. I only take this to shows and as I start to drive a little further away from home to get to new shows. I uh, want to be more prepared in case I have an issue. So got a little roadside kit here. Um, you might think that's a little corny. I thought it was pretty cool. A Fox Aid kit instead of a first aid kit. But uh, inside here, I've kind of let it grow over time. So uh, I'd suggest everybody also have a little bit of a kit that they put together in a, a small, small item, you know. So in mine, I've got some zip ties. I've got some vacuum line. Uh, got some extra fuses, some vacuum caps, some shrink tube, a lighter. I've got a pair of gloves in here, some hand wipes, a little container in case I ran out of gas for some reason that... Uh, will hold about a, I don't know, maybe a gallon, half a gallon of gas, um, and still be able to carry it. 
And then if you go in a little further, um, I've got a battery jump starter, a little portable power pack to jump start cars. I've got a, an extra belt, a charging cable for phone, TFI. Um, got these are just a couple light bulbs for turn signals and headlight in case uh, something blows out and I'm driving at night, which is pretty unlikely, but you never know. Uh, I've got a little head headlamp light for going over your head in case you're working. Some electrical tape, a uh, pair of safety glasses, and then I've got a wrench, a screwdriver, some Scotch Brite in case you got to clean up some terminals or something. Just things like that. There's plenty of room in here. I could add some more stuff if I really thought of something. Well, there's a there's a fuel pump relay. I just put it together in a kit. It all kind of just became part of the the show car accessories, right? So um, it sits back there. So I'd be curious, what are your guys' top five things to keep from being stranded? And uh, put them in the comments and let us know. We'll all learn something from everybody's experience. Thanks all. And what would a top five or a top 10 list be without also adding some additional things as honorable mention, right? Everybody does it, so I'll do it also. I didn't put it in my top five, but I am thinking about uh, getting a small portable tire inflator, something battery powered that is not going to take up much space. That's kind of my criteria why I'm still looking and haven't found something yet that I think is small enough and works well enough, has good enough reviews that I would trust it. So I'm still looking into that. I think that could be a good idea. Um, a, a portable container, some type of collapsible container to quickly get you a, a little bit of gas. If you ran out of gas, we all know that our gas gauges don't work the best. And uh, these cars are 36 years old. A lot of things you just uh, can't quite trust the accuracy of them unless you've already swapped everything out and and uh, do trust it maybe a little more than than I do but uh, something to get some gas would always be another good idea and I know there's going to be some folks out there that don't really worry too much about having stuff like that in the car um, you know odds of breaking down or having a flat or a belt break uh, TFI go bad you know I understand that those things don't happen every day um, but again, I'm just a planner, you know, take it for what you will. Maybe you just want a couple things. Maybe you've already got all of that and uh, um, you feel the same way I do. But just wanted to put that out there.